What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Howard Fang. For those who don't know, I'm a guitarist, songwriter, and producer, and I play for the band with the Destruction. Today, we're gonna be doing a kind of special video. We're not just unboxing one guitar, but we're unboxing two. Actually, they are sitting right here. Let's go. So I'm basically going to be unboxing them and then also kind of giving you a short demo of the two guitars and maybe talk about why I decided to go with these two guitars and yeah, let's do it. And here we're gonna go into some close-up shots of these guitars. Um, on the right, the pink one is the Kiesel MO7X that Mark from uh, Vale Maya plays. Um, this particular model comes with two pickups, and I believe these pickups are Polarity Active pickups, and it comes with this really sick hip shot tremolo, which I love. Moving on here to the left, this is the DCM, which stands for multi-scale. Um, it's got this really sick green splatter with the matching green pickups, which is sick. Crescent inlay on the 12th fret, and the splatter goes on the headstock as well. Um, I've never played a guitar with multi-scale and a trim, so yeah, this is going to be really sick. Kiesel soft shell cases, which are actually quite rigid, and um, you know, I'd really recommend them when you get a Kiesel. You can either get a hard shell or a soft shell, and um, yeah, I mean, I really, I really like these. I'd highly recommend these. So, why Kiesel guitars? So, basically, we were in a situation last tour where I wasn't able to fly in with any of my guitars for um, import reasons to the United States, so I actually had to borrow a guitar. Um, I managed to get uh, Marco Kubo from Vail Maya's personal Kiesel and throughout that whole tour I also had another guitar from a different company, but Honestly, the Kiesel kind of blew that guitar out of the water and actually it's this guitar right over here um, It's sort of similar. However, this has two pickups instead of one the one that um, I was playing in the States had one um, so you know when I contacted Kiesel, we started talking, I basically told them, yeah, I need one of these guitars because honestly, like, it's probably one of the best playing guitars live that I've ever played. And also shout out Mark for just trusting me with his guitar and letting me have it for that tour, basically saving our ass uh, for that whole US tour. So after coming back from that tour, I just really missed that uh, Mark Akuba guitar. Um, and it got me really thinking about all the guitars that I was playing and all the guitars that I've played in the past and I've always felt like Previous guitars. I've always had to fight them. You know, I'm 5'5. Five five, I'm not a tall guy and You know the Kiesel was just something that was really ergonomic really easy to play. It was light and Honestly tonally it was super unique. It sat really nicely in the mix. It was very clear so it was kind of an experience that I never had with any other company actually. So yeah, that's the reason why I have the Mark with me and um, this other guitar over here, the DCM. Well, this was something that I was just really interested in. I've never played, again, I've never played a multi-scale with a trem, so I thought it'd be really interesting. You know, my band plays an F sharp and that's quite low, so the tension would really help and just having a trem is just sick. And plus, dude, like, look at this instrument. Like, why, why wouldn't I want it? 
So yeah, by the time this video comes out, I will have announced that I'm a Kiesel artist and I'm really looking forward to it. If you guys have any questions about Kiesel or guitars or anything really, leave them down in the comments below. I'm gonna try to do more of these um, vlog style videos to just kind of showcase what's going on um, with not only the band's life, but also uh, my life, you know? I did just spend $600 on a camera, so I'm gonna justify using it, you know what I mean? Oh, and one final thing, my band just released a new song through Sumerian Records called Demon Child. The music video is out on YouTube, and it's the song's on all streaming platforms. I'm gonna leave links in the description down below. Thanks for checking out this video, it means a lot, and um, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.